Jay Ocean State running here with Smithfield coaches Joe Bennett and Jeff Kerbank, whose team just won the Class C title. It's like a 58 to 64 win over St. Rayfield Academy, and then Mount St. Charles at 70 points. So, so a very close meet. Um, guys, talk about the effort of your team today. Um, definitely figured you guys would be in the mix. Did you, um, what's your thoughts today? So, the kids trained really hard this summer. It's probably one of the most, if not the most dedicated group I've ever coached. Where they showed up, they worked hard, um, and uh, they, they put it all out there. We put our miles in, we prepared. Um, you know, when we were preparing, it wasn't for any specific, like, hey, we want to win Class C. That's kind of, a, you know, a given, but it's been a decade. It's been 10 years since we won it, so it's a, it's a good feeling. And having East Greenwich in the class is always tough, but, you know, the kids grouped up today. It was very hot. Obviously, Jason led the way for us with the 1648 or around there. It's not official. And uh, Ethan broke uh, 17 as well. And then, you know, we had Elijah and, and Riley uh, right there too. So the kids ran well. They pack attacked like we thought they could. Our six was in at 1730. And, um, you know, that's, that's good. And we were missing one today. So, um, you know, I'm proud of the guys. I'm proud of, you know, when you... Jeff got shirts for him this year and said, uh, you know, what does it, runners are made in the summer. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll let him say a few words too because he's been instrumental. Yeah, Jeff, I was going to say, you're, you're usually the stat guy. Um, what did you figure um, You set that whole course up too. Um, well, I mean, coming into today, we knew it was we knew it was close. I mean, St. Ray's certainly had the potential to win. I think they might have been a slight favorite yeah. the way we're looking at it. You know, East Greenwich was there mount was a little bit behind and we knew it was going to be in the mix but it was really a race where you could be first you could be third and 12 points for first to third is kind of what we thought i mean we we tried to go out a little controlled i think we were down eight or nine at the mile and then guys started moving and really really pack attack um the three four were together and our five six were together and they both started getting some of the guys that we need to get over the last mile, mile and a half of the course. Um, I still think you know, just a lot of hard work. I mean, our our one was fifth, I think. Um, certainly, we weren't we weren't ahead through one. We probably weren't ahead through two runners, and maybe not even through three. But but four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, you know, I've been telling people all since June. It's not the best one or two we've ever had. It's the best five, six, seven we've ever had, and and going on eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's the deepest we've ever been, and today certainly that four, five, six was what what ended up making the difference for us. So, so guys, last year at this time, did you ever imagine you'd be able to to win your first class title in a decade? Right? You were just saying ten mm, years. No, I, I'll be honest. No, I didn't. Um, uh, I mean, we always, I, I always come in thinking we're going to win. I think something that helped us just recently very much in this race was when we raced Cumble and we were undefeated, they were undefeated, Mount was undefeated, it just worked out that way. Obviously Cumberland being seated second, third in the state, we, we knew we had an uphill battle. But we had a race plan and by one mile it blew up and, it, and we, we didn't follow it except my four, my four through seven, eight, nine, ten guys did. But you can't, one of our, Jason's shoes came off and his feet got ripped apart and we were 10 seconds thro slow through the mile. So at the mile, the race was already over for us, and I really tried to use that today. I talked about it, right the literally last thing I said about him is, let's use that as an example. We, we got two charged up, let's just go out and run our race today. Yeah, so let's put up a time. The times are a little slow in general because it's so hot, but the kids really fought for it, and uh, you know, I, I couldn't be prouder of them. And, I don't, I don't know if we thought we would win, but there's, there's just guys. I mean, Elijah ran 18:20 for a PR last year, and he's broken 17 once or twice this year. Wow. We've got guys who, some of our junior class who was running in the mid, you know, 22 mid minutes as freshmen, and they were, you know, in the 19s last Not year. They sure. weren't even breaking 19. Two or three of them are now, you know, 17:40, 17:50. So I mean, the work that guys did. Literally on their own through some of them, through March, two or three April, of them that were yeah. running together, April, May, June, yep. before we even knew they were doing it. Um, you know, they were running 45 miles a week sometimes on their own just because there was nothing else for them to do. I think that's the difference. Just guys came in Hungry. in late June this year so much better in shape than they 
than they've ever been before, and that was that was the difference. We just had some guys really take big jumps from last year to this year. So, so guys, I know you've been around this sport uh, just like me many, many years. Um, was it ever? Can you? When's the last time you think it was this hot, like today? Uh, I think it was For, 75 yeah, degrees it's, at least. It's hot. I was very worried about that. I will say. I was telling Jeff this, other than New Mexico at the Nationals where they run at high altitude, I'd never seen so many guys lying on the ground at the end of a race. And I think when you look back at it last Saturday, it was 38 degrees when we ran the <laughs> freshman states, and today it's 75. You know how you ran, when you get that quick shift from cold to hot, yeah. not hot to cold, but cold to hot, man, it's tough. So I, I, that's why I, I told the guys, he heard me, I told them, I said, I'm not worried about times today. I mean, we had yeah. some good ones, but I, I figured the times might be a little slow. So, so guys, moving forward, state meet next week, next yeah. Saturday. Uh, my guess is this is a great confidence booster for your squad for next yeah. week. Yeah, we, we've got to watch out for 2009. We, we won the class in, in what we call Charge of the Sentinels, but we won the class of East Greenwich by really the last thousand meters, you know, coming on. But the race was decided by like seven seconds, but we won by like 20, you know, it was a close race. Very close, razor close. And that's, we try to, our motto and our, our coaching philosophy is to run the second, an even splits and really run the second half of the course hard. But for states, you know. It, that year it was tough for us to come back. Come back, um, yeah, they got too we, pumped We up. were so, I, I think we were so excited after winning yeah. it. And the next week, I think East Branch might have been sixth, and they probably beat us yes. by 35 yes. or 40 points at the state meet. That's so, exactly right. yeah, the idea that you beat a team this week doesn't necessarily, right. I mean, I think the first three spots are probably back. spoken for next week. That four through eight or so is potentially up for grabs, but I mean, this is, great, well, this is great, but it doesn't mean we're going to do it again next week. we got to be ready to, right. to come out with the same race next week, or else there's going to be two or three teams right behind us looking to grab the That's same right. spots. And Jeff and I try to learn from that. So in 09, it was just such a huge upset, and the way we did it, we were down, we would get crushed with them. 4,000 meters to go and we come back and pulled the race out. Literally coming onto the track yeah, it was, was where they made, everyone made a move. It was it's, I've never experienced anything from my coaching like it with my teams and we've had a lot of great great teams as you know but these guys I'm, pro I'm really proud of them and we just want to bounce back next week. We don't want this to be our best effort today. We want next week to be our best effort. Well guys congratulations on a job well done. I mean definitely a close meet today and good luck next week. Steve, thank you for the coverage as always. Not thank a you. problem. Love doing it. Thanks.